All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Let's once again add the combat text because we forgot about that when doing the components. So we have this combat text thingy. So let's go into our player character. Oh, the character manager. Server apply damage. We have an event before this. Weapon hit. And yeah, we still need to do some calculations here. So we should probably pass this through because we want to do the calculations for that client side in this case. Uh, and spawn actor from class. Uh, once again, we could do soft reference for the soft class reference for the actual combat text actor, but that one will be low. Like every class will do combat, and this will happen all the time, so we might as well load in the combat text instantly whenever we load in the character, so we can hard hard class reference this and just do combat. Text damage amounts twenty. Uh, spawn transform. Uh, hit actor. Get actor trans. Hit actor. Actor object. Get world location. Get actor transform. There we go. Plug that in. See what happens. If it is as simple as that. Uh, I guess it is, but it's kind of offset. One, two, three, four. We have to wait for the delays. I think that's fine, but let's try a hundred. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I actually think this should go up like maybe 30, 50. There we go. So now we have combat text again. Use that if you want. I guess this is fine. We don't need to make this a function. This is fine. Um, What else? The hit, hit flash. We also don't have the hit flash. That's gonna be a bit more annoying because we previously did that in the character. Let me see if I can figure out a way to do that in the component because we can't, in blueprints, we can't do a timeline in the component. So I might just end up doing a C timeline in the component and upload that. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna f test some stuff here. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let's see. I have an idea actually, because uh, we have the dissolve manager, and this is instead of a timeline. So let's do the same thing. Let's copy this dissolve manager. AC hit flash manager, and just rename stuff. Start hit flash. Hit flash timer handle. Hit fl 
slash tick. Multi set hit slash value. And remember how I did this. I have to look it up one second. All right, I am back. So in our master MPC material, this is the hit slash things. So hit slash and this is dissolve. Uh, so same here as we did, it's as the old one, basically. So you can see if we set this to one, we have like a flash around. Fresnel, hit flash color, multiply, multiply with the hit flash value. So now, in a hit flash color, we just need to... Make a skeletal meshes to hit flash. Or target skeletal. Let's just do skeletal meshes to hit flesh. Let's just call it skeletal meshes. So we're gonna grab these for each. And this is already uh, needs to be skeletal mesh, skeletal mesh component. For each loop. Hit flash value needs to be named exactly as in the material hit flash value. Delete this. So custom event set up skeletal meshes it's gonna be an input skeletal mesh component object reference array skeletal meshes to dissolve And this needs to be server server setup skeletal meshes. This needs to be replicated, otherwise the multicast won't work. Run on server. Run on server. 
could make this reliable. I'm not going to do that because the hit slash is not the end of the world if that doesn't fire. Mm. And... We go into our MC. Add the hit flash manager. This needs to replicate. So we might in the future we might like add more more stuff to the character could be like weapons and stuff that are attached here because in that case we do need to send stuff through here actually we don't need to do that because we can do that in our character manager Set up owning character. Once this set up, this is on server. Let's actually rep. No, not rep. Not Let's replicate this. And then. get component by class actually we can just do that when we hit flash so take damage because this is already running on the server right So the take damage here is already on the server. So we can add this to the hit effects. Because it is technically a hit effect. So get owner. Get components by class. Get owner, get component, hit flash manager. Start hit flash. But before we do this, we also need to set up. Server set up skeletal meshes, make array, get mesh. I feel like this is not going to work, but let's try it. No, that is not working, and I feel like I can figure out why, so let me take a sec. All right, I am back after some tinkering. So we can use a component for that as well. I'm not sure it's the best solution. It's ticking pretty quickly. 
But you can see there's a subtle hit flash now. Not sure how great it comes across in the video. You can obviously increase the hit flash by either multiplying. I don't think this is actually needed. Uh, you can obviously increase the hit flash by like messing around with these variables, uh, especially this one. Actually, gonna increase that to 005 uh, to make it more prominent. I also changed this to be slightly lesser green so it showed more. Uh, but this is what you need to do basically in the component. Uh, we had the skeletal meshes plugged in here. So instead we're gonna pass them through into this this whole progress here. We're gonna pass them through the multicast here, and then we're gonna plug them in here instead. And they now they are sent from the server over to all the other clients, so they don't actually need to be replicated. So you can set this away from being replicated. On the start hit flash, we have a bool called reverse. So when we start, we set it to false. Uh, and on the tick, this one, the hit flash tick, if it's false, which is going to start to be false, we're going to increase the multicast value. I changed this to 0 0.2 to increase the speed. And if we reach, you can do one, I lowered it to 0 0.8. So if we reach 0 0.8 and above, we're going to enable the reverse, which means it's now going to tick up here where we subtract by 0 0.2. And if it's less than zero and it's reverse, we're gonna go back here to the hit and clear the timer. And then whenever we get hit, we're just gonna reset the reverse pool, which means we're gonna go from zero again. Um, And that seems to work. So now in our character manager, we still have, no, sorry, MC manager. Just call it here, play hit effect. Uh, I'm just gonna move this out here slightly. And on the setup here, we set up the skeletal meshes. Now we can input more skeletal meshes here. And that seems to work. And I don't really, I think that works quite well. It's, I'm not sure once again how well it comes across in the video, but it's a quite subtle effect. It's not a super jarring effect, it's quite subtle. I like it. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. You also don't have to use the combat text, whatever. It's there if you want it. Otherwise, don't. Cool. That's going to be it for this one. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.